Argus Auction, sale 236, video file for uh, lot 374, postcards of Melbourne, a very attractive view of the Eastern Market, which is illustrated in our catalogue. Uh, these are the others that we selected for putting up on the web. I don't know if it's been done yet. Swanson Street, Melbourne, the TNG Mutual Life, the Leviathan um, uh, Department Store, Swanson Street instead of Swanston Street, Town Hall, and uh, Upper Jarra, uh, which is Upper Yarra. Uh, that's actually not Upper Yarra. That's um, a construction that was built at Kew. So it's a little bit out of the CBD, but it's a very nice card. Uh, that's actually used at Kew. Uh, this is St Paul's Cathedral before the spires were put on. Uh, Henley on the Yarra, 28th of October 1905. View looking towards the fire tower at Melbourne. That must be the fire tower there. Government offices, Melbourne, uh, which is down on um, Latrobe Street. This is Fisherman's Bend, I think. Yes, General Motors Holden. Head office, Fisherman's Bend. So that would date from the late 40s. Opera House Block, Burke Street, Southside. Uh, if it's still there, it's no Opera House. I certainly don't know that. Circular or spherical thing. Victoria Missions to Seaman is still there at uh, Flinders Street Extension. Produce Markets, Flinders Street, long gone. Beautiful jolly cart of Swanston Street with the... Uh, is it the Victoria Hotel? No, hotel on the corner. Royal Mint on a Z or VSM card. Collins Street, T. Humphreys, artist and photographer, Melville and Muir booksellers, Sears Photographic Studios, Lambert and Son hairdressers, all in the main street of uh, the city. An old uh, cable car. Quite a few of them in the distance. Very unusual silver print uh, of Spring Street. Um, reproduction of an ST Gill view. Great Collins Street looking east from Wesleyan Chapel, Melbourne in the 50s. When the uh, streets were laid out, it was great this, little that, great this, little that. Uh, the little streets still retain that, but the uh, larger streets, uh, they drop the grate quite early. Flinders Street, Melbourne, the uh, the rail yards, um, no longer used uh, for um, storing trains. Uh, they moved to the Jollymont rail yards, uh, but the overpass, uh, so on, is still there. And this must be the old Spencer Street station, which of course has been fully redeveloped now. And this would be Queensbridge Street, going over the bridge there. Okay, then we have the balance of the collection. Uh, the Lake and Australian Building at British Empire Exhibition, Wembley. Don't think that's quite Melbourne. Wool at stores in Melbourne. That's one of the uh, Garden State cards. view of uh, the Paris end of Collins Street, the Princess Theatre which is still intact, Supreme Court building still there, very, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, animated view along Collins Street, pity about the crease there, got stick piano, uh, Looks like a jeweller's there, CJ Lane. I think it's great when you can read the, the signs on these cards, like this one, similar to one that we've already gone past. Spring Street Princesses, Princesses Theatre, uh, which is the Princess Theatre. Still there. Uh, the Grand Hotel, which is still there, but now called the Windsor. Fountain Spring Street, one word, and St. Patrick's Catholic Cathedral without its spire. Uh, St. Paul's uh, without its spire. Swanson Street, people actually walking up to the camera 
Uh, this is a nice view, but unfortunately badly damaged. Most of the cards are fine to very fine. Couple of bird's eye views, Swanston Street from Burke Street, Melbourne from the YMCA building, Princess Bridge in foreground. So this is looking across to what is today South Bank. All of this has been completely redeveloped. And this, of course, is the beauty of these old cards, that you can uh, look at them and know what the places are, what, what remains, what's been changed. Yarra Bank Gardens. Parliament House, which was Federal Parliament House for 27 years. Uh, down this one is Houses of Parliament Commonwealth. Catholic Church Mildura, that's a bit far from Melbourne. More of Parliament House and Treasury. St Paul's, St Paul's, St Paul's. Are they the same view? No. Town Hall, the exhibition building is still there, with a World Heritage listing. I do like the jolly cards, I think they're beautiful. That's of the exhibition building, so I don't know what this is in the foreground. Ormond College, Melbourne, which is part of the university, does not have an E on the end about the corner damage on that. Uh, River Yarra at West Melbourne. It's a bit strange because that's the railway bridge in the city. It's more the western end of the city rather than West Melbourne, which is further to the north. Uh, River Yarra, probably Henley on Yarra. Two versions, this one tinted. Alexandra Avenue which runs along the south side of the river. The Melbourne Caledonian Band. There was a very strong Scottish presence right through the, from the 1850s. The Glaciarium, uh, ice skating rink, doesn't know, is no longer there. St Kilda Pier has been redeveloped. The Lawns and Lower Esplanade at St Kilda, it's rather more built up than that these days. I think that's the Palais Theatre there, and that's Luna Park. Uh, Yarra River from Princess Bridge. That's another view of the Yarra, but further upstream. St Patrick's Cathedral, Lonsdale Street, Dandenong, which is a long way from the centre of town. St Paul's Cathedral with the spires completed. Swanston Street again. North Carlton to St Kilda Beach on the tram. Swanston Street, Swanston Street. More Swanston Street. Uh, Flinders Street. Henley on Yarra. Burke Street looking to Parliament House, which is right up there. So this must be taken... Let me see. That, is that the post office? So that, that's probably McEwen's... No... Thomas Evans, don't know that name, but it looks like it's from the 1950s. Another very nice Henley on Yarra view. A couple more, well this one's a Jolly, Spring Street. And uh, both undivided backs. And a couple of vignettes. Light as bubbles may your troubles ever be.